name of Jesus Christ by the number around this country. Souls receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Constantly being added daily throughout America and across the Atlantic and the South Pacific, regardless of where you are. This message is opening up people's understandings. More, I'm getting thousands of letters constantly. People who are listening at this message in the 60s and 70s and 80s writing me, and many of them have said the same thing. Where have you been all of our life? Many is writing. Never heard a message like this. We baptized a gentleman last week in Monroe, Louisiana. Monroe is about four, five, or maybe six hours, I, I believe, from New Orleans, who was a Baptist for 45 years. Went down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. So we are grateful. One scripture says, this is the message. We are living in a time now that the human family have a strong dislike towards God. Whether they profess to be Democrat or Republicans, they have the same hatred towards God. They have took a biblical subject of homosexuality and made it a political subject. That's right. And now America and other countries around the world want to make it legal. I was listening over the air now. They said 70%, 70, 7 and 0, 70% of the people of America are for same-sex marriage. Lord. And you know who's included in this percentage? Lord. You church people. Amen. Am I right, I said? Amen. You church people, you shiny nail preachers. Yeah. You cross-wearing preachers, you ponytail Christians. Yeah. You tattoo Christians. You Christians that got gold all on your teeth with a star on it. Right. And a diamond in your mouth. Yeah. They condone it. So the devil more and more is making television programs that include yeah. the relationship with two men. That's right. The objective is to influence and cause everyone to be attracted and seduced and conned by the media. You that's in this religion called Christianity, you condone same-sex marriages. Some of you politicians that's fighting, there's a politician, I believe, in the state of Indiana. The governor of America, is it the governor? And he's standing against it. And he's getting pressure for Mary Ann. Don't misunderstand me. I believe the homosexual should be able to work in any place of employment. We're not talking about his or her skill as a doctor or a lawyer or a policeman, or a contractor, or an architect. No, uh-uh. We dealing with an abominable behavior Amen. that have nothing to do with your architectural skill. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, have nothing to do with your painting talent, Amen. or your ability as a uh, school teacher, or one that teach theology and philosophy and homiletics and chemistry and uh, rocket science and all no no we ain't talking about none of that let us make our stand clear we believe the homosexual have a right to work in any company in the world and eat in any restaurant of the world and hold any occupation that is in society but we don't believe 
in the behavior of two men. Yeah. All right, listen. That's right. Brother Eli and Brother Black, come up here, brother, and stand right here. Come on, brothers. Stand right here. Facing me, you know. Or just to the side. That way you can get me in the camera. Now, you are fighting so two men can marry. Some of you pulled pit bums are preachers. Go ahead. White preachers, black preachers, yellow preachers, and brown. Some of you are condoning it because your son is homosexual. Some of you are condoning it because you have homosexuals in your congregation. Some of you are condoning it because you're afraid to say anything because your boss, your employer, is a homosexual. You don't want to say nothing at the job because your job has this rainbow sticker Amen. or rainbow flag. So you don't want to stick out like a sore thumb. You want to be quiet. Many of you apostolics, you have turned. And now you want the deacon to marry the trustee. God made woman for the man, did he not? Yes, he did. Now, for you that have trouble hearing, you, you, you come over here, brother. You come over here, just stand over there. Now, this is what God made. Come, come here, Sister Jennings. This is what the Lord made. God made the woman. Notice the difference in how we look. Notice the difference in how we're built. That's right. Are you listening to me? God made the woman for the man. Now, when these two come together, this is what you're able to do. Come here, Sierra. When these two come together, this can come forth. Get up. Come here, Malcolm. Come on, son. When these two come together, then she can have another one, one of these. <laughs> All right, you get what I'm telling you. But. Go ahead. When these two come together, these two. it may be some friction, yeah. but they're not designed to produce. That's right. It is that behavior that we're talking about. We're not talking about your job. A homosexual got the right to be a doctor, a lawyer, a surgeon any area in the job market. He should not be fired because he's a homosexual. Because you didn't hire him because he's a homosexual. You hire him or her based upon their talent and their skill. So to fire them because of that, that is a form of discrimination. But because they hire you, you don't have the right to force your lifestyle. Talk to me. You don't have the right to force your lifestyle in your place of employment. You homosexual employers, because one of your employees refused to accept your rainbow style of life, that's their right. 
You don't fire no one because they don't believe in homosexuality. A man and a woman that don't believe in homosexuality is a man and a woman that respect God. Talk to me. Talk to me. That's a man and a woman that respects God. Brothers, be seen. All right, listen. So this governor in Indiana is taking heat. Even Charles Barkley. See me, I don't care who you are. He said that the governor was wrong. Who would ever think? That man, grown man, grown mustache, beard wearing men, will be so hateful. And you fellas said that same sex marriages and being homosexual is equal to the civil rights. Oh, so, 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 so. Someone as far as saying as being homosexual or fighting for homosexual rights is just like being in black. No. And you dumb black fools Amen. had the audacity to agree to it. Yeah. Black is not a behavior. White is not a behavior. Brown not a behavior. No. I was born a black man. I didn't request to be it. God made me like I am. There is no such thing. He's acting black. Black is a color. It is not a behavior. But homosexuality is a lustful behavior oh yeah it's a lustful behavior yes. and you movie stars and talk show hosts and pool pit buzzards Go ahead. you low lives that carry the bible yeah. you men that are watching me i don't care if you in the mosque if you believe in homosexuality, you ought to be thrown out the mouth and the Quran should be taken from your hands. Yeah. You men that say you're rabbis yeah. that endorse homosexuality should be put out of the synagogue and the Torah taken from your hands. Amen. You so-called Christian preachers that stand in your pulpit and justify homosexuality, you should be thrown out of your pulpit and the Bible taken out of your hands. Now you will call it gay bashing. God didn't make a man for a man. I don't care how you put it. Every Democrat, every Republican, every imam, every rabbi, every old preacher who believe in homosexuality, you are a traitor. That's right. You are you have committed treason. That's right. Against God. That's right. You out there that want to wear the title Christian and say you like Christ, you ain't like Christ. Christ did not endorse homosexuality. I had someone write me and tell me that Christ didn't preach that a uh, man got to have a woman. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Christ plainly said, let a man leave father mother. and mother oh, and cleave to his wife. Ain't that what Jesus said? That's what he said. That's what he said. 
but Satan. It's Satan doing. Yes, it is. Give me the book of Genesis. Genesis. Then give me the book of Jasher. Yeah. I want to break down Sodom and Gomorrah. I had no tickets on working on this, but I had someone watch the telecast and they thought that we use a teleprop. <laughs> teleprop can't keep up with us. No. My only teleprop is the word of God. That's it. God have never purposed for two men to get married. Never did. Never did. Never. And I want all of you judges that are watching, because I know you judges are watching of every nationality. Mm -hmm. Any of you judges that uh, will marry two men and give them a license and you two men that think you married or you two women that think you married, you're not married. That's forgery. Yes, it is. It is God that made the law of marriage. That's right. And I want to say to you, I got a letter from Jamaica. The citizens of Jamaica wrote me and told me, Pastor Jennings, would you please, would you please speak out against the homosexuality that's taking place here in Jamaica because the government of Jamaica, uh, it, it, they're being pressured, I'm told, by Great Britain and America. And to you that are watching, this is what America is doing. America is trying to put pressure on all countries and trying to force homosexuality upon them. And if they refuse to uh, condone homosexuality, then America want to sanction them and want to get other countries to, sank to sanction them. This goes to show you that America is a country of whoremongers. Yeah. America is a wicked country. America is a country that seeks only a few in America fear God now. That's right. Because a person go to church, that don't mean they fear God. No. If you claim you're a Christian and you believe in homosexuality, you don't fear God. Amen. You the grown men who claim they're straight. And yet, have no problem with two men getting married. No All right, let's deal with this, mm -hmm. with the Bible. I want this to be good. I want this to be good. Now, the homos, I had somebody ask me, Pastor Jenny, what would you do if homosexuals came to First Church? They have. Yeah. And they're here now. Yeah. This is where they should be. Right. So I can pull the, the, the sting out of the hive. That's right. They need to be here. They need to be here. That way they can be around this salt. Amen. And the sugar can fall off of them. Oh, yeah. We don't, we don't use sugar here. Homosexual is welcome. Amen. But if you try at any time to lure someone Go ahead. into your lifestyle, Amen. to influence someone that your lifestyle is right, mm -hmm. then the homosexual got to go. That's right. The Bible says this, put such a one out of your midst. So yes, the homosexual is welcome. Everywhere I travel in the world, homosexuals come. Yeah. They know what we stand for. It's not like we're going to change. No, no. I don't care how popular you are, how famous you are, who you may be in America. You are not more famous than God. <laughs> That's right. I bow to God. I don't bow to politicians. Amen. I bow to God. I don't bow to the government of America. Amen. America don't dictate what we say. No. America don't influence what we say. God influence what we say. That's right. When God speaks, we listen. Right. And when we listen, we got to say what our master teacher have said. Amen. You get what I'm telling you? Oh, yeah. Now, I want to deal with the homosexual issue, issue. from Genesis, and then I want to get the book of Jasher. Jasher, amen. Listen good. In the book of Genesis, chapter 19, and we'll start reading at the first verse. All right, so I know some folks say, man, the moment he stood up, he stood up swinging. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you just can't help yourself, you know. Amen. Thank God I got the devil right in view. Amen. Come on, son. And there came two angels to Sodom at even. Two angels came to Sodom. Mm -hmm. And did the word Sodom even come from? Sodom. In Sodom, mm -hmm. men were called Sodomites. Sodomites. Mm -hmm. Because Sodomites were committing sodomy. That's right. They were sodomizing. Yeah. 
They were sodomizing mm -hmm. each other. Each other. So, Saddam. Sodomite. Mm -hmm. Sodom mm -hmm. is the name of the land. Sodomite is the people in the land. Sodomizing is the act that's committed by the sodomite. That's right. Go ahead. Are you listening? That's right. Go ahead, take God. Listen. And there came two angels to Sodom at evening. Two angels came to Sodom at evening. And Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. Lot was there. And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. These angels, divine. God sent yeah. with the message. Amen. Now think of it. Divine beings, Divine. not aliens. No. To what? Two angels. Messengers. That's right. They come and Sodom into Sodom and Lot sees them. Mm -hmm. well, these angels had the appearance of men. That's right. Having the appearance of men, Lot came to greet them. Greet them. Mm -hmm. And he said, Behold now, my lords, turn in, I pray you. What? Into your servant's house, and tarry all night and wash your feet. Tarry all night. Mm -hmm. Come on and relax. Make yourself comfortable. Make yourself welcome. That's right. Showing hospitality. Mm -hmm. Washing feet was a custom. That's right. You understand? That's right. Long before the church started. Oh, yeah. The washing of the feet was the custom mm -hmm. to wash the dirt off your feet because you wore sandals. That's right. So when you came in, the house that you lodged in, mm -hmm. <clears throat> they washed your feet, which was a form of showing hospitality and welcome and making you comfortable. That's right. Mm -hmm. And ye shall rise up early and go on your ways. All right. And they said, nay, but we will abide in the street all night. Right, listen, the angels let them know, listen, we, we, we didn't come. For you to wash our feet. Right. And we didn't come mm -hmm. to be comfortable. That's right. We, we got another job in mind. Another job. Mm -hmm. The great God of heaven sent us here. That's right. And we got a job going on. That's right. All right. And he pressed upon them greatly. Mm -hmm. And they turned in unto him and entered into his house. Then what? And he made a feast and did bake unleavened bread and they did eat. Yeah. But. But. Before they lay down. Before they lay down. The men of the city. Well, wait a minute. Obviously, the men was already watching. That's right. And they knew when there were some strangers in town that did not live there. Amen. You homosexual, you know the way you do. When you see somebody. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Amen. He started looking at a man up and down. Amen. Amen. That's right. Only the devil can be in a man. Only the devil. They even make a man wonder. That's right. What another man is like. like. My Lord. Yeah. But before they lay down. Before they lay down. The men of the city. The men of the city. Even the men of Sodom. What? Compass the house around. Now Lot house was in jeopardy <laughs> they didn't care they, they, they didn't know that those men were angels no sent from god no all they know there was two men there two men that didn't live here they wasn't from here right and their lust drove them that's right to do what to Co Lot House? Come past the house round both old and young. They surround the house. And who surround it? Both old and young. You got old homosexuals and young homosexuals. And young. Amen. Amen. Now you men that's watching me, and I know you upset, and I know undoubtedly why you're watching this, you're putting your email together now, <laughs> or right. calling the church, cussing me out. That's right. Cuss all you want. God have never purpose for two men to raise children. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. That's right. Which one is the mother? That's right. Amen. Any child that's watching me now, and you got two daddies, two daddies. or two mommies, Amen. 
Ask the question if you got two mommies, which one of you is my daddy? Right. And if you got two men that say they're your father, or they use the term two partners, partners. ask the two men, which one of you is my mommy? That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Man. But before they I, I just want to get his wingtips out of the air. Wingtips. Or we'll take God and plant them right back down on the ground That's right. where they belong. That's right. Get me? Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. What did the Holy Ghost say? But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house round both old and young. And what? All the people. All the people. From every quarter. From every quarter. And they called unto Lot and all said All the, the people had the same spirit. All the people. The same spirit of Sodom and Gomorrah is here in America. That's right. It's in the White House. That's right. Which is the dog house. Amen. That spirit have contaminated the President of the United States. Amen. That spirit have contaminated Barack Obama. That's right. And now Barack said there's nothing wrong with two men getting married. Lord. Barack is a blasphemer. That's a blasphemer. That's right. That's right. And he got to an answer to God for it. Yes, he does. Now, I know some of you viewers that are black get upset with me because you said, Pastor Jenny, you shouldn't say nothing. He's a black president. Listen, if, if Barack was white Amen. and believed the same thing, it, it, it would be the same thing. You're still of the devil. Still of the devil. Just a devil of another color. That's right. I'm not into black or white. I'm into God. That's right. That's right. That's what I'm into. I'm into God and God's truth. True. You folk that say you're Christians and then got a rainbow flag on your church, you're of the devil. That's of the devil. They even interviewed the Pope yeah. and questioned the Pope uh, about homosexuality, and he flipped. He flipped the script. My Lord. And now he said, well, who am I to judge? The Bible says, he that is spiritual judge all things. Judge all things. That's right. Why are you men in the churches are scared to stand up? Amen. Because your money got you laying down. That's right. You're scared to stand up because your limousine got you laying down. Your prosperity got you laying down. Your mansion got your man down. But when you got God, you'll stand up. God said, I made man upright. You will stand upright. That's right. We're not attached to mansions. We're not attached to bankrolls. So we can stand up straight. No bend in our back. Go and take off. And stand firmly. You preachers, some of you stood straight. And then you got that Limousine. Yeah. Yeah. Ben. Ben. Yeah. Got that payroll. Yeah. Ben more. Ben more. Got that new church position. Yeah. Ben more. Oh yeah. Church bought you a yacht. Yeah. Ben more. Yeah. Got your beach house. Right. Ben more. Now bent over. Can't straighten up. Amen. Amen. The cross was vertical and horizontal. Yeah. What direction is horizontal? East to west, correct? Vertical is what? North and south. You see, north and south, that's the way God designed man. Horizontal show you got a big nature. That's right. There's a defect in you. That's right. So God wants to make man, he made man to be upright. Uh, Don't you hear he said right. he made man in his image? That's right. That's right. In his image? Yeah. God made man in his image? his image? Homosexual? What image are you made in? What image is that? What image is that? Whose image? God ain't funny. No, he's not. No, no. No way. That devil 
devil's not even funny. Yeah. The devil's not funny. Go ahead, brother. The devil knows that woman was made for the man. He was in the gut. Talking to a male. That's right. And a female. Yes, he was. But because the devil hate God so bad. Yeah. I'm gonna change it. Change it. I'm gonna make a man fall in love with a man. I'm gonna make a woman fall in love with a woman. Why are you gonna do this, Satan? Because he put me out of heaven. That's right. Any way I can make him look bad. Any way I can uh, bring his creation to naught. Because I made he made man to reflect God. But I want to change man. That's right. Make him denounce his creator. Huh? Amen. Oh, the devil, he hates the Lord. He hates the Lord. And you that are homosexual, and you got the nerve to say you Christian. Listen to Pastor Jennings now. There is no such thing as a Christ-like <laughs> homosexual. Right. No such thing. No such thing. I don't care if you don't like what I'm saying. No such thing. Look at what I'm telling you now. There is no such thing, no such thing. of a Christ-like <laughs> homosexual, a Christ-like Christ -like. lesbian, a Christ-like, mm -hmm. it's not like Christ, no. two men get married. No, it's not like Christ. It's not like Christ, no, no. two women get married. No, no. Am I right, I said? That's right. That's right. What did the holy book say? Everybody all right? Come on. Even the men of Sodom compassed the house round both old and young, all the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men which came into thee this night? Where are the men? Where are the men? Where are the men? That's what's being asked now. Amen. Where now, men? even women are asking. <laughs> That's where, right. Where's the men? I yeah. mean, yeah. how can we get married? There ain't no men in the world. No men around. Even women is bringing an argument that it ain't no it ain't no men to marry. That's right. That's right. Practically everything you see in Atlanta. That's right. Philadelphia. New York. Oh yeah. California. Oh yes. Nevada. Amen. Boston. Amen. Connecticut. Mm -hmm. Texas. Yeah. Jamaica. Yeah. Virgin Islands. Yeah. Even in Japan. Oh, Australia. Oh, Grown men walking down the street with their arms around some other man, blowing kisses, My Lord. holding hands. My Lord. Where are the men? And you preachers, you're scared to speak out. You have sold out for politics. That's what's happening. One of the reasons why preachers are so afraid to speak out against this, because they don't want the uh, gov governmental subsidy to be taken. That's right. You see, they got governmental programs in these churches. Yeah. And a lot of time to get those programs, yeah. you got to agree with the government. That's right. And many of you preachers won't stand up. No. Yeah. Because you're scared of your program yes. to being cut off. Amen. Amen. Right back at the dollar bill again. That's right. That's why the word of God said the love of money the root of all evil. Is, is the root of all evil. Then it tells us, wow, some have covered it up. It, it didn't say when they got it. They said, wow, wow. they covered it after. They have erred from the faith and have pierced themselves through. Lord, we'll take God with many sorrows. But thou, man of God, flee these things. Flee, that means run away from it. Get away from it. All right, come on. Where are the men which came into thee this night? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. Now, let me say this. Many of you young men watching me was pushed into homosexuality. Some of you was pushed into it because you had a rotten low life called a father. That's right who wasn't a real man, he couldn't just wash you. That's right. Without fondling you. Amen. Some of you had a no good, rotten older brother. Yeah. And a perverted uncle. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. and a demonic grandfather yeah. and a no good preacher. Amen. Amen. You know, there was a time that the preacher would chase women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a time. I mean, many of them still do. It's wrong, but they was doing wrong the right way. Now, they stopped chasing women. Yeah. Your son. That's something. Let me talk to you that are watching me, and you that are here. Anytime you're in a church that believe in homosexuality, your son is in danger. Oh, yeah. Your son is in danger. Amen. Anytime you got a church that's flying a rainbow flag, and they're not in Operation Push either with Jesse Jackson. No. It's, a, it's, it's another form of push. Amen. Eh? That's right. You get what I'm telling you? That's right. Amen. That's right. Everybody all right? Amen. Listen at the old man. Come on. Where are the men which came into thee this night? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. And Lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him and said, I pray you, brethren. Hold it. What did Lot call the homosexual? Where are the men? What did Lot call the homosexual? I pray you, brethren. Brethren. Amen. Why, why did Lot call the homosexual brother? Brother. He wasn't condoning the act. No. He was letting them know, look, you man, you are men. Amen. You're men. You're, I can't call you sister. That's right. That's right. You're a man. Amen. You understand? You're a man. That's right. I can't call you sister. No. So what did Lot say to them? And said, I pray you, brethren. I pray you, brethren. Do not so wickedly. Now, do not so wickedly. wickedly. But what did the homosexual say in reference to those men? Mm -hmm. They wanted to do what? That we may know them. And what was Lot respond? Do not so wickedly. And what did they want? That we may know them. They didn't want to know their name. No. They didn't want to know where they came from or how long it take them to get there no, or no. their traveling arrangements and Amen. what they was bringing with them. No. Oh, no. That's right. They wanted to get very personal with them. Bring them out unto us. They wanted what? Bring them out unto us. Why? That we may know them. I had a false prophet on the telecast some time ago, Harry Knox. Yeah. Dirty Harry was he. And Barack Obama handpicked Mr. Knox mm -hmm. to be on his faith based program. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Knox said mm -hmm. that this was wrong because it was not consensual. He said, so if a man is forcing himself on another man to rape him, right. it's wrong. Right. But if it's consensual, it's right. Right. That's what he said. Scripture ain't say that. No, no. That was just his perverted mouth. That's right. To condone his perverted lust. That's right. To justify his perverted deed. Amen. Amen. I want this to be good for every man that's switching. <laughs> that's right. And even you men, they ain't switched. Because some of you men are homosexuals. You lift weights. Yeah. You stroll. You right from the hood. Amen. Some of you men talking that talk from the hood. From the hood. Some of you are homosexual rappers. Go ahead, Pastor. That's right. Homosexual governors. Go ahead. Homosexual mayors. Yeah. Amen. It's amazing how the media praise you yeah. when you come out the closet. Come out the closet. And all of a sudden, Barack, Barack calls you. Oh, yeah. Or his wife calls you. Yeah. 
and tell you it took a lot of courage. It took a lot of courage to admit you love abomination. Abomination. Tell Barack I'm still waiting for his call. Amen. You come out the closet. God tell us to go in the secret closet. Secret closet. That's right. So while you come out, we go in. We going in. To pray for you that you don't come out. <laughs> That's right. Why don't you call me, Barack? Mm -hmm. Call Pastor Jennings and tell me I'm brave. <laughs> tell me, why don't you tell me you, you, you have a lot of courage. <laughs> uh, 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 you have a lot of courage to speak against homosexuality. Well, call me, Barack. Call, call, call me. Call him. Call him. Call me. That's right. Why don't you do that? <laughs> no, nah, you'd rather call a faggot. That's first. right. That's right. <laughs> Talk to me. Are you listening to the old man? Hallelujah. Amen. Now, some of you probably hear from the black caucus or you voted for Barack. I didn't vote for Barack. So I'm not tied to a Democrat or Republicans. I'm tied to scripture. That's it. Anybody in this building, I don't care what church you're from, no. that condone homosexuality, mm -hmm. if you condone it, you're mm -hmm. not a Christian. Not a Christian. I'll make you take your religion and lick it up, God knows. That's right. I say anybody in this building tonight, tonight. anybody that are watching, and anybody listening that profess to be a Christian that condone homosexuality, mm -hmm. I'll make you lick your Christianity up. Amen. I'll make you do it with the word of God. With the word. I don't care if you claim you're a preacher. That's right. I'll yeah. blast what you preach right into hell. <laughs> That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. 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 What did the holy book say? Where are the men which came into thee? Where this are the men which came into thee this night? Hey, Father, how do you feel having your son have boyfriends Isn't that, that act like girls? coming to visit your son and you good for nothing father that's not fit to be a father is so low and full of hell you have now got to the point well uh, that's what my son lifestyle i support him how can you, how support, can you support abomination him? and then go to church that's right that's talk right. to me amen, amen. That's right. You are worthless as a father. Amen. I say you are worthless as a father. Anytime a bunch of young men switching and bobbing their hair with armorall, shiny lips, dropping their hands all over the place, come to pick up your son. Pick up the son. And you condone it. Amen. You mothers do the same thing. Your daughters come to you. I met a girl. And we want to get married. I'm so proud of you. Really? Wow. You can't get no grandchildren like that. Not like that. You parents have become foolish. Full of hell. Amen. Do you see how backward the devil have done this? Oh, yes. Did it take me all night? and all day tomorrow and all day Sunday to preach this, and I still won't be finished. That's right. Come on, son, you got to move quick because time is moving. Where are the men which came into thee this night? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. Yeah. And Lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him. Hold it. He shut the door behind him. Behind him. You know why? He didn't want them in there. That's right. He didn't open his door and say, come on in, y'all. <laughs> no. Shut he the came door. out and closed the door behind him. That's right. Mm -hmm. And said, I pray you, brethren. I pray you, brothers. Do not so wickedly. I'm saying the same thing to every homosexual under the sun. Mm -hmm. I pray that you don't do so wickedly. So Get up wicked. off your knees. You ain't praying. Right. That go to the inmates in prison. That's right. That claim you believe in holiness. That's right. If you believe in holiness. Get up. Get up. Amen. Detach yourself. Amen. Back out of that garage. That's right. Pull your pants up. Go ahead. Talk to me. Yeah. Are you listening? Yeah. What did the word of God say? 
and said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. This is a wicked act. Wicked act. That's right. You texting each other your body parts. Wickedly. You're on your way to hell. You a pervert. That's a pervert. That's right. That's right. You emailing. Mm. Sexing. Yeah. Sexting. Huh? Men. Sexing men. Men Skyping each other. Buck naked. Yes, I'm going to preach it. If any of you find this offensive, look at all these doors where you can go out of. If you're scared, you shouldn't be here. That's right. But a real man can take it. Oh, yeah. Because you will go to hell if you can. That's right. Take a real man to sit under this kind of preaching. That's right. Take a real man to take this kind of preaching. That's the tip. You don't want this kind of preaching. You're not a man. Preaching. What did the Holy Word say? And said, I pray you, brethren, do not so I wickedly. I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Behold now. Look now. I have two daughters. Now, this let you know that Lot knew what was right. That's right. Lot knew that fornication was wrong. Right. But he was willing to offer his daughters. Daughters. And yet she knew fornication was wrong. That's right. But he was letting them know, look, if you're going to do wrong, there's a right way to do it. That's right. What did Lot recommend? I have two daughters. Listen, you fellas are hot. This, your heat's supposed to be towards the women. The women. That's right. I have what? Two daughters. No, two sons. Two daughters. Amen. Listen at the word. Look how clear it is. I have two daughters. I'm recommending to you homosexuals. Mm -hmm. What Lot recommended? Women. Have, women. That's right. That's right. That's right. Lot recommended women. Two daughters. I'm recommending women. Amen. This stuff got to be burnt into hell. Our children. Yeah. Is that state? That's right. Little boys. That's right. If they are not taught the straight path, yeah. if they are not taught the straight path, they think it's all right in elementary school. That's right. To be kissed. That's right. By a little five-year-old boy. Amen. I'm not saying harass the homosexual. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying harass them on the internet. No. No. But I am going to preach the gospel. That's it. And if you call preaching the gospel harassment, then so be it. So be it. Amen. 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 They're trying to make it illegal now. The government of America. Mm -hmm. Speak against homosexuality or you'll be thrown in jail. Yeah. <laughs> you can't build a prison big enough or small enough. I go to jail gladly Amen. and stand for God. Amen. I'd preach it in jail. That's right. In season, out of season. In jail, out of jail. That's right. We're living in a time where men that hear this message, even they get nervous. That's right. They claim they're men. Amen. What you scared of? You're not the one talking. That's right. What you scared of? Amen. Well, I'm scared for you. Don't be scared for me. If I perish, let me perish. I'm going to see the king. Scared for me? God have not given us the spirit of fear. That's right. My wife married me, she married a man. That's right. She didn't marry no one that couldn't make up in his mind what he was. That's right. I wasn't trying to figure out what I am. No. 
I didn't need a psychologist to tell me what I am. No. Now, there are many of you that says that you were born a male, but a woman was trapped in you. Trapped. Trapped in you. Oh, the devil's just, he's terrible. That's what they say. No, what you feel is a spirit. It's a spirit. And because you're not familiar with the spirit world, yeah. you call it a woman. That's right. But it's a spirit of inordinate affection. You think it's a man inside of a woman. No, it's the spirit of the devil in her. That's it. You think it's a woman in a man? No, it's the spirit of the devil in him. That's right. That make you feel in a manner. That's against God. That's against God. Amen. That's right. Amen. You know it's the spirit anytime a six-year-old boy and a ten-year-old boy saying, I like boys. Yeah. It's a spirit. That's a spirit. And you foolish parents, some of you mothers, mm -hmm. you let your son wear your heels and play in your blouse and mm -hmm. wear a wig. You say, oh, look at Johnny, isn't that cute? No, it's not cute. Amen. It's an abomination. abomination. Are you listening to me? Amen. This is something that needs to be preached hard every day. every day. Listen. Behold, now I have two daughters which have not known man. I got two daughters that are virgins. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you. I'll bring them. And do ye good to them as is good in your eyes. You do what's good in your eyes. If whatever you want to do, anything, anything, anything goes. That's right. If you, if you want to do it, mm -hmm. you do it to the girls. That, that's the right. The female. That's right. But what? Only unto these men. Unto these men. Do nothing. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Amen. That's what I'm saying. That's right. How much can they do to the men? Nothing. No, a little bit. Nothing. At least kiss them. Nothing. No, at least grind on them. Nothing. Nothing. Pull their hair. Nothing. Spank their behind. Nothing. Put on some leather jeans. Nothing. Get a whip. Nothing. Tie them up. Nothing. Hand couple them to the bed. Nothing. Unto these men, do nothing. Why were you saying over the air? Because you're doing it. That's right. That's why. That's why. Oh, ahead, that's too graphic. If you're a man, you can take it. You can take it. That's right. You know you ain't being handcuffed and that's got right. on boots like a woman and walk around with a wig on, brother. You can take it. You can take it. That's right. Amen. The Holy Ghost said, only unto these men, unto the men, do nothing. Brothers, what did the Lord say? Do what? Nothing. Do what? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Did it say nothing? Nothing. No, a little bit. Nothing. Kiss them? Nothing. Hug them? Nothing. Rub them? Nothing. Lay on them? Nothing. on them? Nothing. Try to get in? Nothing. But then can't get out? Nothing. That's right. See, it shows you that it's not godly. That's right. If it was godly, you wouldn't get stuck. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Lord, help the people. You wouldn't need to call the paramedics. Call the paramedics. If it was right, you would not need help from a doctor. That's right. To disconnect you. That's right. Amen. If it don't fit, you got to quit. That's right. If it don't fit, that's right. A father should be able to wash his son. A father, listen to me good. 
should be able to wash his son oh, yeah. and the son be saved. That's right. The older brother should be able to wash his younger brother yeah. and the younger brother is saved. Safe. The uncle should be able to wash his nephew yeah. and his nephew yeah. is saved. Yeah. The grandfather should be able to wash the grandson yeah. and the grandson yeah. is safe. That's right. The preacher should be able to counsel your son Go ahead. and your son Go ahead. is Say, talk to me. Amen. Amen. Your preacher should be able to drive your son home. Amen. And he's safe. He's safe. The priest. Amen. Should be able to give your son communion if he's qualified. Yeah. Without spending the night with them. That's right. That's right. Your son should be able to go in that confession booth. Amen. And it's padlock free. That's right. That's right. The Muslim should be able to talk to his email. Without the E-man want to fondle his beard. That's right. My Lord, my Lord. Preach it. Go ahead, brother. The Hebrew should be able to talk to his rabbi. Yeah. Without the rabbi want to play with his curls. That's right. Go ahead. Am I Preach it. right? That's right. Go ahead. Now, I know many of you don't like what I'm saying, but it's true. It's true. It's true. What did the Holy Book say? Behold, now I have two daughters which have not known man. I have two daughters that don't know man. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do ye to them as is good in your eyes. Real quick. Only unto these men do nothing. Do nothing. For therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. All right. And they said, stand back. Yep. Do what? They said, stand back. You see how consistent they were? Consistent. Stand back. And they said again, this one fellow came into sojourning, and will he needs be a judge? Now will we deal worse with thee than with them? Listen, they told Lot, we're going to deal worse with you. With you. Than with them. them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they pressed sore upon the man, even Lot. Look at the lust, how it, drew, how it, it just drove them. Amen. They started pressing against the door. And came near to break the door. And they wanted to break the door. That's what the Bible meant when it says burn in their lust. lust. They lust was driving them. Oh, yeah. All right. But the men put forth their hand and pulled Lot into the house to them. Then what? And shut to the door. Uh -huh. And they smoked the men that were at the door of the house with blinds. You see, the Sodomites didn't know these were the angels of the Lord. That's right. And the power of the Lord shine out of that house and smote the men with what? With blindness. Blindness. Both small and great. Small and great. So that they wearied themselves to find the door. They got exhausted. They couldn't even see the door. They got exhausted. That's right. That lets you know even when they was blind, they still was trying still. to get in. Amen. They still was full of lust until they was just tired. That's right. <sighs> tired. Tired. Amen. That's really determined, isn't it? Oh, yeah. What else? And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they wearied themselves to find the door. And the men said unto Lot, Hast thou here any besides, son-in-law and thy sons and thy daughters? And whatsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place, for we will destroy this place. America, the judgment of God is hanging over you. Yes, Amen. 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 You are equal to Sodom and Gomorrah. Equal. You are a modern day Babylon. That's right. America's arrogant, self righteous, self centered, and they hate for God is forever increasing. That's right. They love for Satan mm -hmm. is increasing. It's increasing. Everybody is glorifying this trash program that I saw commercials about called Empire. Yeah. Where they had two men on there. 
That's right. Two men. The devil know what to do to attract attention. Two fellas. That's right. Anything for ratings. Anything for money. Yeah. Anytime an actor will put on a women's clothes and act like a woman just so he can get that big payday, you're a pervert. You're a pervert. Amen. Pervert. Amen. You're a perv. You're a perv. That's right. That's right. Man, that's a real man, won't belittle himself no. or degrade himself to play in a role. No. Give me the book of Romans real quick. I'm not going to have time to get Jasher. Right. I want the knock off. Right. But give me Romans, the first chapter. Mm -hmm. Read fast. Romans chapter 1. And because we'll start the homosexual says, well, that's the Old Testament. And even Harry Knox told me, well, it's not mentioned in the Bible, but only a few times. <laughs> Isn't that something? Isn't that something to say? Now, how many times <laughs> do you have to be slapped Amen. before you feel it? Yeah. Amen. See, when God speaks, he ain't got to tell me the same thing over and over and over. No. That's their way of watering down the truth of the subject. That's right. Read fast, sir. Romans chapter 1, we're at verse 24. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts. What? To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. It's a dishonorable act when two men are together. Right. Amen. Yeah. When you two fellas, you know, in the hood, mm -hmm. a woman would pass a message to a man or a man would pass a message to a woman when they shake hands. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they shake hands and they had this thing where they scratch your palm. Right. Yeah. She or he is telling you they want to be with you. That's right. They want to have sex with you. Right. So they shake your hand and scratch your palm. Scratch your palm. And I'm pretty sure they still do it. Amen. If there's any men scratching the palm of a man. That's right. Hello. Amen. Amen. Any man that's struggling with homosexuality, mm -hmm. if you're struggling with it, struggling. let me make this plain. Struggling. If you're struggling with it, you need not to be on no choir. Amen. You need not to be playing no instrument. Yeah. You need not to be working on no auxiliary. That's right. Do you hear what I say? Amen. If you're struggling with homosexuality, you should not be opening up praise service. You should not be opening up testimony service. You should not be playing no instrument at all. You should not be in the pulpit. You should not be on no choir. Fast, pray, sit down, and give yourself over to God until that garbage. That's right. Amen. I didn't say while you're struggling with it. No. Till that garbage come out, oh. then function. If yeah. it's not out, don't do nothing. Do nothing. Do nothing. Amen. The only thing you need to do is work on yourself. That's right. No choir. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't even get up and give announcements. Amen. Don't lead no praise service. Yeah. The Bible says do nothing. Do nothing. Do don't nothing. get on no choir. Don't play no instruments. Nothing. nothing. Do nothing. Do nothing. Do nothing. Amen. Amen. We won't. Well, I want a church where I be free. When you in sin, you're not free. That's right. What if God say, he whom the Son has set free. Free indeed. It's free indeed. Yes, Amen. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Amen. Mm. Listen. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness Hello. through the lust of their own hearts. What is it? To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. What? Who changed the truth of God. The truth is man and woman. Right. And they changed that truth to what? Into a lie. Amen. Two men with marriage license, two women 
with marriage license and hear the little girl saying, these are my two mommies. Two mommies. No, there are two lesbians. <laughs> That's right. Two men. These are my two daddies. Yeah. No, there are two devils. Oh, yeah. Two homosexuals. Mm -hmm. All right, listen. Who changed the truth of God into a lie. Now, I want to say to television stations, don't, 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 don't cut this. <laughs> That's right. Anytime you can put on movies on mm -hmm. your station and play programs mm -hmm. that's showing two men kissing, showing. then I got the right showing. by biblical law and by the so-called corrupt constitution of the United States <laughs> that give me freedom of speech. And if the constitution give me freedom of speech, Pastor Peter said, let me freely let me speak, speak unto you. That's right. Amen. That's right. Am I right? That's right. Yeah. But when you speak against the criminal, hmm. when you speak against the crime, yeah. right then the scream want to get black. <laughs> right then they say, well, he can't say that over the air. Over the air. Why not? Mm -hmm. They show it. They doing it over they the air. It. Amen. All I'm doing is, uh, listen, I'm a journalist. Yeah. I'm filing my report. <laughs> That's right. Extra, extra. Read all about, all about it. Men are perverted in America. Amen. I'm preaching what you play on your television. That's right. You show it. Amen. But yeah, you don't want me to say it. Isn't that something? <laughs> you will show it gladly. Oh, yeah. For ratings. Oh, yes. But you don't want me to say it that your ratings will go down. Mm -hmm. Read fast, son. Who changed the truth of God into a lie. Yes. And worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. Read quick. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. God gave them up to vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Now, the natural use is when a man marry a woman and a woman marry a man. They come together and children are brought forth. Mm -hmm. It ain't no children can come from two women. No. There ain't no children can come from two men. And you find these actresses, these, these women that are actresses. Yeah. And they all over talk shows talking about, I, I say, well, this is my partner. Yeah. You know, news journalists coming out, this is my partner. And yeah. everything, they don't want what God said no more. They don't want it, no. Be quick. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men. Leaving the natural use of the woman. What I look like leaving my wife for, for a man. For a man. <laughs> look, a woman, if she got a good husband and her husband leave her for another woman, that woman going to be hurt. Yeah. But if that woman leave her or if that man leave her for a man. For a man. I mean, she would be devastated, angry, bitter. Oh, yeah. And then whatever other emotions she has, she probably won't even know. <laughs> Confused. Yeah. Because a lot of you women are married to men on the down low. That's right. They on the down low. That's right. Way down yonder. Way down. Amen. Way down yonder. Way down. Are you listening? My Lord, my Lord. Read quick. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one toward another. Who got that burn? Men with men. What are these men with men doing? Working that which is unseemly. When two men have sex and come out, they get married and and you know, you you love him, and I want to marry. What do you look like dropping on your knees asking some man, will you marry me? Dropping on your knees. <laughs> Amen. All on your knees, will, will you knees. marry me? He's standing there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Lord, help the people. And he's still down there. Still. You're going to hell while you're down there. That's right. 
Read fast. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman, burning their lusts one toward another. How men, can you leave a woman? Oh, for a man? How? Well, I don't like leaving my woman. Huh? Amen. Call that good woman? <laughs> for, for a man? For a man. I'm going to leave all them curves Amen. for a telephone pole? For a telephone pole. <laughs> Lord help people. Amen. Some of you folks watching me, your pastor done flipped the script on you and now he come out the closet. And the congregation is larger now. That's right. That's right. Full of devils. Full of Church has become a haven. Mm -hmm. A place for hot out. Yeah. For homosexuality. Oh, yeah. Because even they know the churches ain't going to say nothing about it. That's as right. long as they're giving that tithe and offering. That's right. As long as they're giving that dollar, the preachers say, well, you know, we can overlook some things. Overlook we ain't going to overlook nothing. No. I don't care if you give a million dollars a day tithing and huh. three million dollars a week offering. Amen. I'm going to preach the word of God if you're about to die. That's right. Amen. That's right. Read fast. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman, burning their lusts one toward another, men with men working that which is unseen. What else? And receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. And they receive in themselves that recompense of what? Of their error. What's in them? Their error. What's in them? Their, their error. error. I told you, I don't care how you cut it, it's not how right. You cut it. That's right. Is there error in you? It's an error. Yeah. That's right. What is it? And even as they preacher, did... Preacher, why don't you preach this? It's an error. Why don't the Bible let you know what's in them? In error. Their error. Read, it, read the whole thing there. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman, burning their lusts one toward another. Yes. Men with men working that which is unseen. All right. And receiving in themselves... Receiving in... The, listen. In themselves. As a result... As a result... As a result of you working that which is unseemly, Amen. you 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 caught something and receiving in themselves. You receive something. That's right. You receive something in yourself. That recompense. What? That recompense. That recompense of their error. Of their error, which was meat. Amen. Listen, hmm. the meat you got was an error. That was an error. The error was called what? Which, which was meat. Which was what? Meat. Which was what? Meat. Spell that. M-E-E-T. Now, anytime you got an error in you, in you, you got something that you came down with. <laughs> That's right. The error, error is a result of your act. That's right. That's right. Which was meat, which, which was, was meat. a corrupt sacrifice or corrupt offering. Yeah. Amen. 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 You brought it on yourself. It on yourself. Now, That's look right. at you now. Now you're upset with the government with demonstrations because you feel as though they're not spending enough money for a cure for AIDS. That's right. Look how foolish you are. Amen. Why in the world would you get upset with America because they're not spending enough money for you? Amen. You don't want no AIDS? Mm -hmm. Get up. Get up. Do nothing. Do nothing. Huh? That's right. Do nothing. Do nothing. No kissing, no hugging. Nothing. <laughs> don't even use a condom. Don't even, in don't, fact, don't, if you do nothing, right. you don't need a condom. That's right. Why? You're doing nothing. Doing nothing. No wink in your eye. Mm -hmm. No blowing a kiss. No blowing a kiss. Holy Ghost said, do nothing. Do nothing. Do nothing. Hmm? Amen. Can't even make a toast to him. That's right. Do nothing. Do nothing. Can't make a toast. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can't buy him some male lingerie. That's right. Holy Ghost! Hey. Do nothing. Do nothing. <laughs> Can't send him a picture of your body. No. 
because you're doing something. That's right. And the Lord said, do nothing. And cannot buy him a gift, mm -hmm. and there's emotions attached. That's right. Holy Ghost said, do nothing. Can't buy him a sweetheart card on Valentine's Day. That's right. The Holy Ghost said, do nothing. Can't buy him a sweetheart card on his birthday. Amen. Do nothing. Holy Ghost said, do nothing. Any un godly motive behind anything you buy anything you give any place you take them right what two men doing in a gay club a gay restaurant that's right everybody walking around with leather everybody pants like they joining the rodeo that's right leather pants and nigga behind is out Amen. Got her on a cap that looked like a police cap and a leather vest. That's right. I bet I see no brothers in first church ahead, with man. leather pants. Go ahead. Go ahead. No brothers. And I see you in no leather pants. No leather. That's right. Like you rawhide. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You got a you got a leather coat? All right. All right. You got a leather belt? All right. Yeah. You got leather shoes? All right. Amen. Got a leather jacket? All right. Mm -hmm. You got leather pants? That's not all right. That's not all right. That's just too much. It's too much leather. Amen. Leather pants and suede pants. Yeah. You see, there's some things that a woman can wear a man ain't got no business, no wear. business wearing. A woman wear heels. Right. We ain't got no business with no high heels. No, no high heels. <laughs> what are we doing with high heels? That's right. That's right. What are we doing with pantyhose? That's right. Something's wrong with that. <laughs> like you, Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> or Robin's Hood. <laughs> you want to go to Robin's Hood? My Lord. <laughs> huh? Want to be one of the merry men? <laughs> you want to be one of the merry men? That's right. Man, one of the merry men. <laughs> yeah, all right. Talk your foolish talk. <laughs> That's right. Give me a few more verses. I got to get out of here. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. Brothers should not be arching your eyebrows. You're a man. You should not have eyebrow pencil on. You're a man. You should not be dyeing your hair. You're a man. You should not be manicuring your nails. You're a man. That's right. You should not be wearing earrings. You're a man. You should not be platinum your hair. Yeah. You're a man. You should not be curling your hair. That's right. I should not ever hear a young man talking about, I want a curly top. For what? You're a man. Amen. Shouldn't matter to you whether you got curls or not. Man, that's a real man ain't trying to get curls. That's right. He's not trying to get his hair done so he can save us some curls. That's right. That type of language ain't got no business coming out the mouth of a real man. Talk to me. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. You don't see your leader talking about a curly top. You ain't following no faggot. Go ahead, brother. Go Am ahead. I right, sir? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm due a haircut now. When I go to the barber shop, sometimes my barber, he just be playing around. Something different? You get something different today? I said, that's a foolish question. He said, oh, I thought I would ask. I said, no, that's a foolish question. Just get busy and, and, and just start removing. start removing. I ain't worrying about trying to have a curly top. I'm a man. Why am I worried about curls? That's right. I'm a man. That's right. Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
man that's a real man ain't worrying about no curly top Go ahead. he ain't putting no stupid gel in his head so his hair can curl up get that perverted trash out of your head that's right that's right you ain't got no time for that fool <laughs> let the preachers know no man should be in the mirror longer than a woman. That's right. Talk to me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's right. This is serious business, brother. I ain't playing with nobody. Go ahead. Better not be no young men or old worrying about some foolish curly top or putting some fat back grease in your head so your hair can even look like it got curls that's right you know god ain't made your hair like that that's right lord says six things do i hate seven is an abomination before me a proud look amen god ain't gave me curls ain't gonna pretend like i got them that's right I ain't going to put no pig feet fat in my head. Amen. Oh, my hair can shrivel up and make it look like it got curls. curls. Amen. That don't concern a real man. We become concerned about foolishness. And that's why many of us can't get God and don't go after God and don't pursue God because you're so full of pride and conceitment and arrogance. That's right. And you corrupt yourself by being corrupt by television. Amen. Television is driving you to hell. Amen. You want to look like hoes and look like pimps. You're not even supposed to look like something you're not. Get the scripture, son. Don't sit there and look at me. Get the scripture quick. God, you better even look like something you're not. What if God speak against you looking like something that you're not? You ain't a faggot. Don't look like it. You get a haircut, get a haircut. You don't need no hair design. No bunch of parts in your head like you represent the highways of America. Keep your hair cut conservative. Keep it modest. Keep it right. No dye in your hair. No plaques in your hair. No dreadlocks in your hair. It ain't no man got should have a ponytail in his hair. A man with bangs. Bangs are for women. Ponytails are for women. A man's attire. Listen. Now in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 19. And we'll start at verse 29. A man may be known by his look. A man may be known by what? By his look. Known by his look. Known by what? By his look. Amen. When you look at a man, you should know you're looking at a man. That's right. You should never have to say, wait a minute. What? Whoa, wait a minute. That's right. When you walk by someone, no one should think it was a sister that walked by. That's right. When that sister walked by someone, no one should think it was a man that walked by. That's right. Are you listening? A man may be known. When that woman shake my hand, it should be the handshake of a woman. When that man shake my hand, it should be the handshake of a man. Right. Give chapter and verse again. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 19, and at verse 29. That's what? A man may be known by his look. A man may be known by his look. And one that hath understanding... By his countenance, when thou meetest him. You see, I have understanding. Right. So I should know what you are by your countenance. That's right. You men want to wear these little bracelets that's made out of uh, string. Strings. Different color string bracelet. Look how weak you are. Look how weak and foolish 
and hellish you are. That's little right. string bracelets your friend gave you. Little bees your friend gave you. You get involved and get surrounded with friends that keep you looking gay, acting gay. That's, that's right. A man's attire. Amen. Amen. It should not be no tight pants. Yeah. In God house or out. That's right. Those skin tight jeans. That's right. Skin tight suits. Amen. There should not be no suits, no pants. Gathered all around your private area. That's right. Until your private area Jeez. is seen. Amen. And you sitting like you don't have no church training. Legs open. Brothers right. are taught to sit with your legs closed. Right. All brothers are taught. Not sitting in a church in a chair like you in bed. That's right. Talk to me. Amen. Close your leg. Amen. Amen. You skin tight pants wearing men in church. All up on BET and TBN. Tight pants. Yeah. Skin tight. <laughs> That's right. Used to be a song when I grew up. Skin tight. Skin tight. You remember that? That's right. Skin tight. Amen. I'm used to telling women not to wear tight clothes. But now I got to tell men. Amen. You know we're living in the last days. Oh, yeah. Where you got to tell grown men. Loosen up. That's right. Any time the seam of your pants Go ahead, is stretching, <laughs> and you only but yay big. That's right. Your pants should not be trying to find a way to escape. <laughs> Skin-tight pants skin preacher and skin-tight pants deacon. Yeah. Skin-tight pants men all on the choir. Oh, yeah. It's a disgrace. Mm -hmm. We believe in holiness. Amen. Nothing else. That's right. I mean nothing else. That's it. The word of God says what then? A man may be known by his look. Let me quit on that. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Now, brothers and sisters, we thank God moreover for the toughness of the message, Amen. for the sincerity of the message, and the uprightness of the message. We're not playing church. We believe in having it God's way or no way. Be back tomorrow, God willing. We'll be at headquarters on Frankfurt Avenue. There's a 10 o'clock session. And I want all you young people there. 10 o'clock. Prayer will begin tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. There will be prayer at 9 o'clock till 10. One hour.